America is now being a little bit more comfortable with admitting that it, it is a empire. So one thing that empires don't like to do is lose their position as the world dominant power. Uh, the UK didn't like it when they ended their dominance of the world in the early 1900s, and the US doesn't like it now. And they, you know, James Clapper is admitting here that uh, we're looking at other countries' economic policy and behavior, which could affect global markets, i.e., which could affect and impact their global dominance. So this is something new in global history: is that you know empires fall as they get old and uh, you know lack innovation, and a new guy comes along and takes over. Here, it's like we're going to be stuck in some. This is it. This is as far as innovation could ever take us because nobody else is allowed to compete with them. All they're interested in now is making sure nobody can compete with them. Right. Well, when other empires have collapsed, they've left behind artifacts. <laughs> the Egyptians, the Romans. Here in America, they're leaving behind a pile of worthless dollars and garbage and Prozac in the, in the water. That's the legacy of the American empire. And a 24-hour news channel playing old Ronald Reagan speeches. That'll all the thing be left between that landmass squeezed between Mexico and Canada will be a pile of garbage. So